Good morning, YouTube. You have your coffee? I have my coffee this morning instead of water. I'm not hydrating this morning. I'm trying to wake up. My cup says, do you ever sit around God waiting for the phone to ring? No, because you know what? God has better things to do. He just don't sit around. He's at work in this world and this universe trying to win people to him through his prophets, through his church, through his people. Amen. I, for all you YouTubers that don't know the definition of a false prophet, I want to I want to let you in on a secret cuz I have read all kinds of theories on the word of God and people trying to prophesy and about the end of time and prophesy about the book of Revelations, the book of Daniel, and uh, the book of Ezekiel, and they really don't know what they're talking about because there's one main ingredient missing. First, I want to tell you what Matthew 7, 15 through 21 says. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inward they are furious wolves. By their fruit, listen to that, listen to that. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit. Amen? Bears good fruit. Let me, uh, let me read to you from the book of James 2, uh, 2, 14 through 26. But I'm just going to read verse 26 to you. It lets you read the rest, which is James 2, 14 through 26. 26 says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also now that's the word of god and we are to rightly divide the word of god what are fruits what are fruits in your life okay some people um sit up in a truck all day or they sit at home all day they don't do anything constructive for god except run their mouth and tell people what's coming to pass on the earth you know telling them what the news have basically has already told them the foundational fruit of your ministry if you are proclaiming to be a prophet if you are teaching from the word of god about the end time prophecy about what god told us would happen in the end times if you are teaching that if you are teaching that, listen to me. It said multitudes followed Jesus. Multitudes. They wanted to hear what he was saying. They were so hungry for the word of God. Therefore, they should be chasing after your ministry. They should not be offended by your ministry. Jesus did not offend people. He drew people closer to God is what he did and what you should be doing here on YouTube. Faith without works is dead. God said that he would add to the church or your ministry daily. Your first love, your first thing that you should be worried about before you prophesy is bringing lost people to the Lord. Is letting them feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit and being saved being saved by the blood of the Lamb. Listen, if you've got a YouTube channel and there ain't but three people hit your channel, you're not reaching anybody. You need to spend a little money and get your channel out there to reach people if you've been called into the ministry. You can't have just a sec of your little five friends that agree with everything you say because if you are preaching the truth, you're going to have people coming against you, but you're also going to be drawing people at the same time time winning people to christ should be your first love winning people to christ should be the very first thing that you pray for in your ministry not just prophesying vain words that that, that are empty and don't mean anything and for god's sake pray for humility in your life pray Pray, pray, pray that you will humble yourself before an almighty God that created all of us and created this universe and not have the spirit of judge in 
people. Judging people. It's easy to say that someone else is a false prophet. But take a look in the mirror. You yourself have faults. You yourself have shortcomings. If you are a child of God, if you are a child of Jesus Christ, you're not going to always get it right. You're not going to be right on the money every time. It, especially if you are trying to prophesy without God's help, okay? So stop the idiotic occasy, occasy, or however you say that word. The stupidity. Stop it right now. Back up. If you are calling yourself a prophet, if you are calling yourself a minister of the gospel, your first, first, first journey, your first work should be to win people to Christ, to introduce them to Jesus. No, you can't save anybody, but your words can, and this word can, and how you preach it can lead them to Christ. And therefore, you can pray for them and lead them to Jesus. And that's their first step. They begin to drink milk. They don't automatically begin ramming meat down their throat. But they begin drinking milk, little drinks at a time, learning about Jesus. So in these last days, do something constructive. Quit hating on people. Quit calling people false teachers and false prophets and all of that. You're spending your time negatively. Spend your time positively winning people to Jesus. Jesus loves you too. All you have to do is repent. If you're on some kind of weird trip, just repent. God loves you. Repent. Say, I'm sorry Lord. Let me start from scratch. Let me begin winning souls in my ministry. Then, then, God will add to the church or add to your ministry. God bless you. This is Pastor Bobby Wright. Right here on YouTube. I love you. Hit me up with a personal message if you receive Jesus as your personal Savior on this channel. I love you and God bless you.